In this tutorial video, we will go through the layout of OTDraw and how to access all the commands and features. In the middle of the screen is the canvas. This is where your diagram will be drawn. Around the canvas are four toolbars where you can access various settings and functions. At the bottom of the screen is the canvas toolbar where you can either clear your canvas, add a canvas, rename the existing canvas, reset the canvas after it has been cropped, or delete the canvas. To rename the canvas, simply select this option and enter the new name in the text box provided. To the right of the screen is the drawing toolbar, which contains all the drawing tools you'll need to create your diagrams in OT Draw. There are shape tools such as lines, curves, rectangles and ovals. These objects are drawn by clicking and dragging on the canvas. To draw a curve, select the Curve tool and then, as you are drawing, press the C key to add junction points on your curve. There are also labelling tools such as arrows, dimensions and text. When drawing an arrow, a text box will automatically appear so that you can label objects on your diagram. Dimensions will also automatically insert the measurement alongside the dimension line. Or you can enter text all by itself. There is a unique drawing tool called the Rail Tool. You can draw rails with square or rounded endings. Similar to curves, you can draw multi-section rails by clicking the R key to create extra junction points. This is how you can create L-shaped rails or freestanding rails. There are also specific bathroom tools enabling you to draw showers, toilets, baths, vanities and doors. Below that are drawing tools that allow you to draw shower fittings and wall fittings. To navigate around your canvas, you can use the manipulation tools found at the top of the toolbar. You can select objects to move and edit them, use the hand tool to pan around on the canvas, or the crop tool to cut around your diagram. The next video will address the three other toolbars in OT Draw.